Hey guys, my name is Jess, it is the 3rd of August and you're watching GameSpot News. Blizzard have explained after a little bit of outrage why the Overwatch Summer Games items are restricted to loot boxes. The Olympics-themed cosmetic items are only available in special loot boxes that will disappear in three weeks. And unlike existing items, you can't purchase them with credits. That said, every time you open one of the special loot boxes, you are guaranteed at least one of the new items. Game director Jeff Kaplan explained that this is because we want the items to feel extra special and very rare. So we don't want everyone running around all the time in every single Summer Games item. And we actually don't expect that all players will get all Summer Games items. We want this to be a thing where six months from now, when the Summer Games are long past, you look back on somebody using that cool Summer Games Zarya skin and go, oh man, I can't wait until next year when Summer Games happens. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to get that skin. Of course, with standard loot box items, you can work your way towards collecting every standard item. Next up, Pokemon Go Dev Niantic are revoking legendary Pokemon in order to make things fair. Earlier this week, a player got their hands on the legendary Pokemon Articuno, to the dismay of many other players. But the legendary Pokemon have since been removed. Niantic told GameSpot, We recently noticed that a few legendary Pokemon got into a few accounts when they shouldn't have. To preserve the game's integrity and as a measure of fairness, we've rectified the situation and revoked the legendary Pokemon from the trainer's accounts. Additionally, a number of players haven't been too happy about the most recent update, which removed the broken Pokemon tracking feature instead of fixing it. Niantic say the feature was removed in order to improve the underlying design. Finally, EA have discussed their sales expectations for Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2. And since there's nothing sexier than sales expectations, let's talk about that. EA say they are optimistic Battlefield 1 can exceed its conservative projection of slightly under 15 million units, which is what a Battlefield game typically sells. As for Respawn's Titanfall 2, CFO Blake Jorgensen said, the first Titanfall did a little more than 7 million units last time. It was early in the cycle, one of the few titles out there. We think Titanfall 2 will do more than that, but it's probably closer to 10 million than it is to 15. As a comparison, although we don't know exactly how many units Call of Duty Black Ops 3 sold, we know it was the single best-selling game of 2015, and the series sales total over 250 million units worldwide. Battlefield 1 will be out on October 21, while Titanfall 2 is due just a week later on October 28. EA say they aren't worried that the games will cannibalize each other's sales, insisting that shooters are a massive genre with a diverse set of players looking to fulfill different gameplay motivations. Be sure to check back to GameSpot for stories on Inside and No Man's Sky and I'll have a bunch more news for you tomorrow.